At Fallen Arches, the home of the Cliffhanger family, dark deeds are afoot. Having failed to poison his wife, Lord Cliffhanger steals into her bedroom, a loaded revolver in his hand. Meanwhile, below stairs, his faithful butler toils into the night. Who is it? It's me, Mr. Darling. The Widow Dirt. Oh, come in, Widow Dirt. I'm just washing up. Those plates look clean enough to eat all. Have you brought back last month's laundry? I have, sir. Everything's been washed and pressed. I did your sheets separately as requested. Thank you, Widow Dirt. I managed to get the stains out. Yes, thank you, Widow Dirt. You can collect next month's laundry in the morning. Right you are. <gasps> oh! What was that? Sounded like gunfire. I think it came from Lady Cliffhanger's room. Lady Cliffhanger, it's the butler, Mum. Are you all right? Come in, darling. Oh, Lord Cliffhanger, whatever's happened? There's been a terrible accident. Oh, not again. It's Lady Cliffhanger. She shot herself. Fallen Arches by Stephen Sheridan. Chapter 2, in which a visit to the village hospital is arranged, a seance is conducted, and several dark secrets are revealed. Come along, darling. Help me stuff her ladyship into this old laundry basket. I can't help wondering if we're doing the right thing, my lord. We can't leave her lying on the floor. People will trip over her. I still say we should call the police. But we don't want to bother them. After all, it's not as if there are any suspicious circumstances. What do you intend doing with her ladyship's mortal remains? She can't stay in this basket forever. She'd attract mice. I thought perhaps the dustmen could take her. I hardly think so, my lord. Well, what do you suggest? Couldn't we... Carry her to the cemetery. The cemetery? Brilliant! No one will think of looking for a dead body there. We'll take her along to the family vault tomorrow morning. Very good. That was a delicious breakfast, darling. Oh, thanks, fool. Darling, what's the matter with your mutton? It's my new false teeth, my lord. I don't know why, but they don't seem to fit properly. Perhaps it's because you've got a full set of your own teeth. Well, those could drop out at any moment. I'd need my dentures then. Have you made the preparations for our little expedition? I've dragged the laundry basket to your study as requested. Oh, excellent. I'm still not happy. Here comes Florence. Good morning, Papa. Good morning, Florence. Good morning, darling. Good morning. Oh, blast these teeth. Where's Mama? Ah, uh, about your mother. I suppose uh, she's gone on one of her holidays. Here, the man of those weeds. I expect she's gone somewhere hot. We must hope not. <gasps> Is that the time? I'm meeting Dr. Woodcock at nine. You swore never to see him again. I know. But he's offered to take me on a guided tour of the charity hospital. I can't miss the chance to look at all those sick people... He says if I take some buns, I can feed them. I thought you were staying here today. You said you wanted to organize a memorial service for Demon Lover. A memorial service? Demon Lover was only a horse. Honestly, Father, I sometimes think you're quite mad. Confessions of a horticulturalist. A gardener from Crewe reveals how he once bedded a hundred rose trees in a single night. Taking a tea break, possibility. Uh, uh, who, who's there? It's me, Silas Dirt. Oh, morning, Dirt. Yeah. I'm just browsing through this month's edition of Gardening Today. You should read this article. Is Dutch elm disease the wrath of God? It's fascinating. You seem to be settling in at fallen arches. Does Lord Cliff Anger suspect what you're up to? Of course not. I get suspicious that he sees me talking to you. He shouldn't have come here. Don't worry. I'll be destroyed. But what? A one-legged cockney grave robber. But you are a one-legged cockney grave robber. Exactly. So it's the last disguise anyone would expect me 
do a job today. We want that. I want to see how our little scheme is progress. We couldn't be better. Everyone at Fallen Arches believes I'm Possibility Brown, a simple gardener. Then are you going to tell them who you really is? As soon as I can get my hands on the documents I want. Ah. The ones which show how Cliffhanger tricked me all those years ago. They'll be needed in It's getting to the most problem. But when I do, Lord Cliffhanger is going to curse the day he was born. You rang, my lord. Yes, darling. I finished reading this page of my newspaper and turned to the next one for me. Very good, my lord. I've just been reading about that nasty business at the church last night. It's been burned to the ground, I hear. The police suspect the work of a group of mad satanists. Who could do such a thing? Morning, Pepanger. Colonel Banks, this is an unexpected pleasure. Come in, come in. Thank you. What's wrong with your hands? They're covered in bandages. Mm, just some minor third degree burns. Happened last night. Really? How? Um, spontaneous combustion. And just suddenly ignited. Spontaneous combustion? That's a very rare occurrence. Mm, so it happened in the army once. A punishing subaltern for insubordination. Covered him with petrol, held him over fire, and he spontaneously combusted. Astonishing. Anyway, can't stop. Just pop by to see if you fancied a bit of sport. Sport? A couple of suffragettes have chained selves to town hall railings. Thought we might get our dogs and bait them for a few hours. I fear I'm in no mood for such frivolous pursuit. His lordship is in mourning. In mourning? It's Lady Cliffhanger. I'm afraid she's dead. Ah, thought she seemed quiet last night. No, no. She was alive then. She shot herself after you left. It's a terrible shock. You'll get over it. Remember when own dear wife was burned alive inside giant wicker man. It was heartbroken. Well, a couple of hours later, was out chasing other women. Time's a great healer. If you want to pay your last respects, her ladyship's outside in a laundry basket. A laundry basket? You probably saw it on your way in. No. You must have done. Darling dragged it there not an hour ago. That's right, my lord. Isn't there now? It must be. Let me see. My God, it's gone. Someone's stolen it. Who'd want to take old laundry basket? Oh, dear. I have a feeling I know. Laundry basket. Oh, it weighs a ton. I don't know what Mr. Darling's put in it. I'll be washing for a month. I'm glad I was here to watch you carry it, Mother. What was you doing at Fallen Arches, by the way? Mind your own business. Ow! And that'll teach you to cheek your mother, Silas Dirt. <laughs> oh, come on. We're almost home. So this is the charity hospital, Dr. Woodcock. That's right, Lady Florence. If the poor and the infirm need looking after very badly, then this is where they come. I work here one day a week. Naturally, I don't charge for my services. What's going on over there? Ah, yes, yes. I think you'll find this very interesting, Lady Florence. We're building a new extension to our casualty department. Isn't that terribly expensive? Under normal circumstances, yes. But I have devised a special money-saving scheme. Cut down on labour costs when encouraging the patients to do the manual work themselves. The patients? Oh, not the very sick ones, of course. Just those with minor ailments. It's my belief that a little fresh air and exercise helps speed the healing process. Mr. Fritstead, be careful with that, sir. We've got to return it to the operating theatre later. Uh, Lady Florence, allow me to introduce Sister McFly, head of our nursing division. Ah, oh, to meet you, my lady. How is the work progressing, sister? We've got the walls up now. I'm afraid Mr. Bradshaw's double hernia is still causing problems. We've had to take him off hard to carry. Who's that on top of the scaffolding tower? Ah, it's Mr. Stubbs. Hello, Stubbs. Morning, Dr. Woodcock. How are the dizzy spells? They're much better, thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Sister, I think Mr. Stubbs has had a relapse. Can we go inside now, Dr. Woodcock? Certainly, Lady Florence. This way. What a filthy and appalling part of town this is. Only the lowest form of life can live in a place like this. Yes, my lord. 
I believe the widow Dirt dwells nearby. If you're right, well, the crone does have our laundry basket. We must find her without delay. If only I could remember her exact address. Ask that street trader, darling. Excuse me, my man. Uh, what's some of our sewage, sir? Certainly not. I don't know. Six weeks I've had this stall. I haven't sold a single jar of sewage. Just can't understand it. We are looking for the house of a widowed dirt. Uh, we're not dirt now. What you need to do is go straight up Oval Street, turn into Slum Road, and the widow's place is on the left. Thank you. You've been most helpful. You sure you don't want some sewage? Quite sure. Come along, darling. Do hurry up. Very good, my lord. Didn't you buy me any sooner? Silas, have you been smoking my pipe? Oh, come in, it's open. Good morning, the widow dirt. Oh, hello, Mr. Darling. Good day, old hag. Oh, Lord Cliffhanger. Excuse me, dear, if I don't stand, but I'm sitting on Silas's dinner, and it's a cheap way of warming it up. Darling, look in the corner of our laundry basket. I knew she'd have it. I don't think she's opened it yet. You distract her. Whilst I check her ladyship, she's still inside. Distract her? How? Woo her. Flatter her. Keep her busy. Very good, my lord. <clears throat> you are looking uh, very... Glamorous today, Widow Dirt. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Darling, what a lovely thing to say. Do my eyes deceive me, or has your hump grown smaller? <laughs> Do you really think so? Oh, I've always said you were a wildly attractive woman. Oh, honestly, you're a real lady killer. What was that? What do you know? Here, why are you rifling through that laundry basket? You'll have to excuse his lordship. He has a fetish. I just wondered if there was anything unusual in the basket. Unusual? I don't think so. Just shirts and sheets and things. Oh, yes. There was a dead body. Ah, that's mine. I meant to leave it out for the Salvation Army's collector cadaver for Christmas appeal. It must have got mixed up with the laundry. You know how these things happen. It doesn't seem to be in the basket anymore. Where is it? Where do you think? I gave it a quick rinse and put it on the line to dry. A fetish indeed. You're an idiot, darling. Here's Lady Cliffhanger, my lord. Ah. She's hanging next to my aerated combinations. Oh, they've come up a treat. She's a bit stiff. Uh, Widow Dirt always does overdo this time. Let's unpack her. That's it, darling. Put her over your shoulder. Lovely-looking corpse you got there. Thank you. What? Who are you? I know some doctors would pay handsomely for a body like that. How much do you want for her? My wife is not for sale. How much would you give us? Darling, I just wondered what a dead woman was worth on the open market. Some of the older housemaids can't last forever. Come along. The cemetery is this way. We'll deposit her ladyship in my family vault. In here, Lady Florence, is the hospital's main ward. It's a bit small, dark and smelly, isn't it? Now that's a store cupboard. I meant in here. <laughs> 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 Good morning, everybody. Oh, cannot laugh. Patience, we can do better than that. That's better. Now, who's this in bed one? Mr. Bridges, how's the gallbladder? Still very painful, Doctor. Never mind. Pain is just your body's way of reminding you you're not a private patient. It must be awfully depressing being stuck in here. I'm sure the nurses do what they can to keep their patient's spirits up. Indeed we do, Doctor. We even encourage them to play little games. Hunt the bedpan, that sort of thing. Hunt the bedpan? One of the nurses hides. All the bed pans, then, when a patient wants to... Yes, yes, thank you, Sister McFly, that will be all. Very good, Doctor. Let me show you the children's ward, Lady Florence. We have in a particularly fine selection of consumptive orphans. Just a minute. 
the man in this bed looks vaguely familiar. I can't believe that one of your friends would end up in a hospital for the destitute. Perhaps he used to work for your father. Mm, could be. All servants look the same to me. According to his uh, medical records, he was admitted last week suffering from severe shock. Apparently he collapsed on Victoria Station when a train arrived on time. Old Poker! I'm sorry, Lady Fons. His name is Old Poker. He used to be the gamekeeper at Fallen Arches. Hello, Old Poker! It's Lady Florence Cliffhanger! Ah, Lady Florence? Ah, is that your lovely face I see for me? No, Lady Florence is over there. How is he? I fear his condition is critical. What's that? Dr. Woodcock was just saying you're at death's door. Don't tell him that. Oh, sorry. Ah. Uh, I I know I'm not long for this world. I, I can almost hear the angels calling to me. Excuse me, Dr. Woodcock. What is it, sister? Can you come behind the operating theatre for five minutes? Dr. Rogers is having a spot of bother with her an amputation. Now, what's the problem? But the patient keeps trying to climb off the table. You run along, Dr. Woodcock. I'll sit with old Poker for a while. If you're sure. Oh, yes, yes, off you go. Uh, has, has, has he gone? Yes. Oh, thank God for that. you got fag on you. I thought you weren't long for this world. Oh, oh you've got to put on a show for the doctors, ain't you? Otherwise, they boot you out. What with the, the blanket baths and the rubber sheets you get in this place, I'm having the time of my life. It is good to see you, old poker. Oh. It must be ten years since you were... Since I was sacked, kicked out without a by your leave. Of course, you know why your old man got rid of me, don't you? Because you were the leader of a cell of red Republicans dedicated to the substitution of the ruling oligarchy by anarcho-syndicalist communes. Hey, is that what he told you? Your father dismissed me because of what I knew. Because of what I found out. He was terrified I would reveal the dark secret of fallen arches. What dark secret? Oh, I can scarcely bring myself to describe it. When I tell you what I know, you won't believe your ears. <laughs> Pull up a chair, Lady Florence, and I'll begin. Hurry up, darling. We're almost at the vault. <laughs> Her ladyship's very heavy. I could do myself permanent damage. Why don't I run back to fallen arches and slip into my truss? You haven't got a truss. It came in the post this morning. Ah, here we are. Don't just stand there, darling. Open the door. Oh. In here, darling. Hurry up. I'm coming, my lord. You know, this vault was built in the 15th century. All my ancestors are addressed to here. There's the casket of the third Lord Cliffhanger. He was an amateur alchemist. He patented an elixir of life made from pure arsenic. I see he died in his early 20s. And look at this. Here's the tomb of my great-grandfather. They do say I take after him. I can't think why. Wasn't he the one they called the Mad Lord Cliffhanger? I believe so. Apparently, he had the brain of a deranged child. Really? He kept it in a box under the bed. He sounds quite appalling, my lord. That's enough. There's no need to insult his memory. Show some respect for the dead. Now, bang Lady Cliffhanger stiff on this slab, and let's go home. Pass me my medicine I could do with a swig. Yes, here you are. Oh, thank you, Lady Florence. You swear what you've just told me is true? If I've been lying, may all the saints in heaven sneeze on me. I wonder what you want with one of them. That's none of your business, you malodorous microbe. I don't suppose you're the planning the play footy ball, is it? Perhaps you wanted to show onto that inhuman creature you've been a piece of together down in your cellar. Hold your tongue, Weevil. Would a woman get you? I don't see why. I don't see why not. Then follow me, sir. I have to wear it in. 
Would you care to join me, Mr. Darcero? Never like to go out. Nasty chap. Burn your tongue. I don't think you're meant to put the light in him, did you, must. <laughs> Whoever are your brother used to smoke cigars? He didn't use his mouth at all. I prefer not to talk about it, sir. He may have seemed the perfect brother to you, but I knew him for what he was. A mad, twisted thing. He wasn't thinking about it and chose me his father. Sorry, Catana. Promise I'll never ever mention him again as long as I live. He was a funny chap who never did understand why he disappeared. Therefore, you seem to inherit your title in the state. You know, I was laid at Catana with Jacob. You were wishing you could see her once more. Tell her how much you love her and miss her. No, it's not that. I want to ask her where she put the key to the big cabinet. Why, then? What do you mean? The night is sweet to the seven people. They will be seen up in spirit world in their sins. A Christmas of the black art shows so easy to come up to the world. Is it so they tell me? Are you suggesting you hold it there? Why not? I suppose it would pass the time. Go on. I will sure you have your touch right. So oh, I don't like breaking into a family vault like this. Help me get this crowd on. Lying on that slide. Part the lens. Maybe it's this hanger, all right. Oh, how quickly she started to be carried. How dare you, huh? Oh, oh. Maybe it's this hanger, you're alive. It ain't possible when I see this is a dead wood. Catalepsy. Eh? And just like plum, often induced by great shock. It's a very rare condition. It runs in my family. We had to bury my father 85 times. What on earth brought on your attack? Which shock has never done? I see no bullet wound. Oh, you don't think I got into a loaded weapon, do you? I always make sure it's filled with jump. Now, help me out. Oh, where are you going? Back to Paul and our case. I'm going to do something I should have done years ago. One more coat to do it. Mr. Darling. Oh. oh, come in, Widow Dirk. I'm just varnishing my cross. It's a special orthopedic model. I picked it up at the Friends of the Limbless Rummage Sale. Well, it's very becoming. It covers all your ball patches. I have it done specially for you. For me? After all the lovely things you said earlier, it's lying your side here, Dad. Well, it is. Oh, get off my lap, you lost crazed nymph. Who let you into this house? Oh, it's a little bit of a house. 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 It's a I order your spirit to appear. Oh, the shed are very uncommunicative tonight, Cliffhanger. This light there is behind his wall, Doctor. Lady Cliffhanger, leave your resting place and join us in this darkened room. I heard a voice. I conjured a spirit. Speak to her, Cliffhanger. Speak to her. Hello, my dear. How are you? He's dead. Who is you? has important questions for us. Ask this question. You know this place? Let me know where you live. It's here, in my hand. Oh, thank you, my dear. Oh, God! Don't tell it. Don't show him substantial rage. They can't hurt us. Oh, 
Fallen Archers 